Hello everyone, Thunderbob here, and I am back for some more Project Diablo 2. I have made it to Act 5. If you missed out, I've got a video for each of the previous four acts. And I am going to try to beat Act 5 today. This is normal. And uh, this is Project Diablo 2, which is Diablo 2 with uh, a few changes. Um, biggest being, like, a few new skills and, and some balances. Uh, some balance changes and uh, a few other odds and ends for the most part this is pretty close to traditional diablo 2 um, with some balance tweaks and some some other kind of quality of life improvements bigger inventory um, the online only ladder um, runes and stuff like that are droppable um, but overall it's pretty cool it works with high resolution i'm, I'm running 3440 by 1440 here without Without any real problem. Yeah, I love Diablo 2. I'm disappointed. I was really, really hoping to get into the Diablo 2 Resurrection um, Alpha going on this week, and I did not get in. A good buddy of mine got in, and I hope he's enjoying it, but I did not. You suck with this. Yeah, so, uh, here's where we're at. I went through all of Act 4 in my previous video in about 17 minutes, which I thought was damn good. The other acts all took close to an hour. Act 4 is considerably smaller, though. That's not exactly a fair comparison. Ooh. Uh, overall, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying Nova, but I'm looking forward to getting to 30 and doing Frozen Orb. That's always been my favorite build, and I've read they actually buffed it a little bit, so that's, that's pretty cool. I need mana. That Diablo 2 alpha does look pretty damn good though. Like I'm excited. There's a few little odds and ends I feel like they could uh, they get modify, but overall I think it looks amazing. Uh, especially the lighting. Like when the sorceress is casting her spells and it like lights up the hallways and stuff, it looks so good. Like better than I was even expecting. Uh, I do hope that they end up changing their minds and going with a few more quality of life improvements. Um, shank. Shank, shank, shank. I used to do so many shank runs back in the day. Stop running. And then also, who is it over here? It's uh. Rockets can rest easier now. Yeah, this guy. This used to be one of my favorite leveling areas. It's just so efficient. And I'm not doing every quest, this is kind of a rush through Act 1, I wanted, or uh, normal I should say. I wanted to see how quickly I could uh, make it to Nightmare. Uh, I think I'm going to hit about 4 hours for the whole thing, which is definitely not any kind of a record. I think it's uh, 57 minutes is the record. Ooh, adult. It's funny when you start over and you're excited of like, oh, it's a wrap. It's awesome. Not enough mana. I'm not a noob. I just uh, this is a new fresh start. I could let the barbarians out, but they're barbarians. They should be able to do it themselves. Little jerks. And I'm looking for the uh, 
Ariat Plateau, which I think is usually... Yep, is this way. These guys have a good amount of health. Why are you running away? Not enough mana. Mm, Merc's been definitely uh, working out pretty well. I get him that pike early on. I need mana. Come on. I am overburdened. That's like nothing for me. Amethyst. Got to get used to the uh, color change on. There's there's like a loot mod in in Project Diablo which highlights items and changes their color and all kinds of crazy stuff, and I'm not really used to it yet. I may continue this through Nightmare in Hell. I'm not 100% yet. Like, I'm really enjoying it. But I also don't want to get burnt out before the uh, Diablo Resurrected comes out. So we'll see. I need I'm... haven't decided yet. Not enough mana. I always like these guys where they would like uh, whip their, their their kind of teammates and make them like go crazy. Scratch my nose and almost got killed. This game definitely had some clever kind of monsters working together, like the the shamans in Act One Resurrection thing and. Pretty clever, some of the things, how it all works together. Alright, and now we are in the Crystalline Passage. We are looking for the Glacial Trail. I hate those things. Gettys. Oh, I hate those things. Forgot about those. And we're just gonna run through here. And of course, uh, I've mentioned this. The teleport is slightly nerfed in this mode. Um, basically, it's on the teleport or on the lightning um, skill. Uh, cooldowns basically so you need a lot more faster cast rate and also you're kind of weaker for like I don't know, a couple seconds after you teleport it's definitely a change and not one I particularly love as a sorceress player all right so we are in the frozen river with that sweet sweet mana Yetis. I really do like Act 5 though. Like, I remember when this expansion came out, and uh, my buddy really didn't like it. He was into Barbarians, and, and Barbarians were hit pretty hard, kind of nerfed in this expansion. At least he thinks so. Um, so he stuck it out with the non expansion version, and I moved on to the X pack. I never looked back. And, uh, but Act 5 in particular, I really love kind of the, the look of it, the snow and the, uh, it's kind of, there's not much else like it in all of Diablo 2. Everything like, you know, deserts or swamps or the, um, the Act 1 area, it's very foresty and kind of plains and forests. Not enough mana. And then you hit Act 5 and it's like a frozen wasteland. Pretty cool. Oh, 
Dun, 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 dun. I was trying to hit that mana potion. I'm trying to be greedy. Whole circle here. Pretty sure I missed it. Cast, 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 cast. Ooh, an amp. I will take that. That was uh, not the right way to go. One thing I'm kind of interested in uh, with the remake, the remaster, what have you, um, they added in where you can use a controller, and I've seen the interface where it's like, instead of having your skills like this, there's a bar at the bottom, but it seems like it's just a way to, um, to kind of have them laid out. It still seems like when you're controlling it, even if you're controlling it with... I need mana. Uh, a controller, you have like, you basically switch between the skills using those buttons, but you still cast with a singular button. So it's like, it's not quite um, the way Diablo 3 did it. And I wish there was like an option there. I'm not sure if they're just doing that to be like, you know, as purest as possible. I feel like, while I want that game, I feel like they could make changes like that, and I wouldn't mind. But there are probably some people out there that would not have that same opinion. So they're catering, trying to cater to a lot of people. The people that want it exactly how they remember it from 20 years ago. The people that me who really love that game, but I would be okay with some changes. Like StarCraft, um, the StarCraft remake comes to mind in that I was so excited for it. And then when it came out, um, I kind of didn't play it because they just... Uh, uh, there were too many quality of life changes that had come in, in Warcraft 3 and then in in Starcraft 2 in particular that like I could go back. I don't know if anyone else has that same feeling. I, I love it, but um, yeah, they, they missed something. Don't need you. Don't need you. I don't even know why I picked that up. That's got some good quad resists, but I'm probably never going to get that much strength. Garbage. Actually, not too bad. Cast rate. 20 life and replenish life. This has got lightning resist, and that's really all. I could give that to my minion, probably. Actually, can minions use... Don't remember. I should get my minion back, for that matter. It's Quell Keck, I think, right? I evening. No, no jewelry. Now I got it. Sorry if you can hear my chair, I need to need to grease it up. Wasn't it like Nithalak who kidnaps her? I think that's the story. And then when you come back, uh Nithalak's gone and Anya becomes the new. And then is Nithalak it? is who you go. Uh, 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 for the first one, Mala for your reward. You're an Can I help you? Oh, yeah, he'll give you the sockets. That's right. He gives you those sockets. Guess you don't need those. Anything with life still would be nice for the. I'm not getting enough strength for another row of potions, unfortunately. 
good faith salutations. What does she give me? Resistance. Yeah, resistance bonus. All right. I uh, do the glacial chair, and now I need to find the frozen tundra, if I remember correctly. You have proof. Thank you. Here, Mila. Yeah, what do you give me? That is mostly useless. This at least gives me one Nova. That's got some good resistance. Cold lightning, energy. Not using lightning or firebolt currently. I'm gonna skip Nithalak because I don't need to do it. And he's kind of a pain in the butt. But I need to get to the frozen tundra. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. It's back. I think I have to go back to here. Right? Okay, that's the frozen river. I need mana. Should be like another exit through mana. here if I'm remembering correctly. It's been yeah, there it is. It's been a little while since I played. Act five. Like legitimately. Meaning not being rushed, not having all the waypoints, like This is like my first probably true legit like fresh start no help solo run in when did Diablo 3 come out like I know when that came out I played through Diablo 1 Diablo 2 um with my fiance and my wife who was my fiance at the time maybe not even my fiance it's been a long time Give me those potions. I like those greater potions. And that's the Drifter Caravan, which I do not. I don't need to go to. Not enough mana. I keep setting up my potions differently, so when I click the button, I'm clicking the wrong ones. That's what I need. Frozen Tundra. From here you're looking for the ancient way and we're gonna fight the ancients. Usually when you're speedrunning you basically get to the ancients rate at 20 and because you can't you can't defeat them. I don't think they even spawn before 20 if memory serves me right. And these zones actually are uh, almost always seem to spawn with the entrances and exits like the same direction. Like after a while, in Act 5 in particular, it's very it's easy to know which direction to go. Okay, maybe you get one more level before I have to fight the ancients, because they're they're actually a little tougher. These guys have so little health, it's nice. Ancient way... I do think some of the tunnels and stuff are a little repetitive in this area. It's like overworld tunnel, overworld tunnel. And there's not a lot to differentiate them. Same enemies and stuff. Looking for the Ariat Summit. Holy crap, that was quick. Should I go and get my my buddy first? Probably. If I remember right, does your do you lose your portal if you die? I can't. I think that's right. Afternoon. So I gotta be like for real ready. I think they moved Kane in this mod because wasn't he like in a more inconvenient area? 
Stop is better. Do garbage. Garbage. Magic find. Get, get that to my merc. Give him some extra health or something. Because that's. That, yeah, that's kind of weak. Okay, I put in this thing. Give him some health. Okay. Oh, there's two of those. How do I... I forget how to... Note, three follows plus a key. That's how to upgrade it. Is it in the cube? the T1. Alright. See if that helps. I'll put that to good use. Deposit that in case I die. I should have found the waypoint, but we gotta see how we do. I really love this fight. Like fighting three different barbarians at once. Not enough time. I'm not even like trying to separate them. I feel like this Nova is, like worked really well, especially with the synergy with um, the charge bolt. Like it makes leveling actually, I think, quicker in some ways. Because like you don't have to respect. Usually you'd respect at you know twelve or something, but now those points actually give you like hundred and something percent extra damage. Might give me a full level. See, this is, uh, I get 3% damage on my Nova for each. So that's, okay, 30% more. Not a huge amount, but it's not nothing. And now, basically just gotta get through the World Stone Keep and kill this asshole. Probably gonna need to uh, get some more potions, but we'll see how far I get. I'm almost leveled up again. You know something else they could probably lose in the uh, the remake? Stamina. I don't think anyone would complain. It's just not a very fun mechanic. Like. Your move, your walk speed is fast enough that you can avoid most enemies, so it's it's not like a strategic thing in my mind. I get mildly it, but but it's mostly um, kind of an archaic mechanic. Like in some ways, the loot Tetris is as well, and I think giving you the shared stash pages is a compromise on that. I do wish that they would increase the stash size like this. Or even, um, you know, what I would really like is if they give you, like, a separate inventory for uh, charms. Like, Not they kind of do that in this mod where charms are only effective in this bottom part. Um, like, I almost wish they would think about doing that. That would be interesting. But I feel like there would be enough lore or two. And they're not trying to be about that. They want to, like... Please the fans. Alright, level two. There should be a waypoint here. And then there should be a ball. Ball. It was a good villain. Ball in Stargate. That guy passed away recently. That's really sad. 
he seemed like an awesome dude. A lot of people passing away this year, unfortunately. I, uh, not to be a downer, uh, lost my parents this year. And got some videos going into it, but uh, it's been a difficult one. So, But thanks for being there with me. Should I get the waypoint? I guess. I'm gonna go get some potions while I'm right here. I need how may I be of help? So much quicker when you get a big belt. Oh, why did I Oh, yeah, that's fine. Not enough I guess see the new Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Captain America with that bloody shield. That is uh, another iconic image, I think. I need more. I was never very good at finding ball. Not enough. Here we go. This is for all the marbles. And if you're speedrunning this, like, they would usually avoid killing anything and, like, just run right to ball. In a lot of cases, drag out the uh, packs of enemies if they can. Like, only fight the ones that are easy. Not enough Don't kill my dude! Kind of open to level up here. So I'm definitely, like several levels higher than what the speedrunners would do this at, but I also think I had to be because uh, they nerfed static field considerably, where you can't just use that to destroy any boss. Like in regular Diablo 2 and normal difficulty, you can kill ball with basically static shock and then like anything. Are you going to bring your guys? Did I miss something? Did he have to clear this before he spawns him? I can't remember. Yeah, I guess you do. First wave's pretty easy. Thirty life. I can't use that. Poison, kind of annoying. Not too bad though. Thanks. I'll put that to good use. You guys get a little more annoying, and I might have to go and heal myself because that poison is wrecking my face. You, you are. My name is Duckard Kane. I sound like Sean Connery. My best friend who I used to play Diablo 2 with back in the day, I went to his baby shower today. He's having a little girl like I like I have. It's pretty awesome. Not I can see why people skip these guys sometimes. 
It's like you gotta kind of break them apart. That lightning is gonna kill my Merc. Could use some life steal really badly. Should have static chopped him to start with. Not enough mana. Let's let that potion heal you a little bit. I think there was a trick back in the day where you could skip all these uh, these boss packs. Can't remember how to do it though. I didn't even check what my fire resistance was. 37, alright, that's not too bad. I love how it shows how much gold stuff goes for. It's pretty good. Oh my god, these are the worst. Remember back in the day when these guys would spawn in and just freeze your computer for five seconds and then you'd be dead? Pepperidge Farms remembers. I need mana. Hopefully you don't run back over there, you idiot. Should I just drag him out and then kill Ball? Come on. Not enough mana. Come on, guys. I feel like these guys are not worth fighting. I need mana. And that all. That's all you have to do if you can't easily fight one of these packs. Just run out. About to the start of the room there. And you go with some static field here. I get right on top of them because I haven't leveled it up. I'm so used to having like plus 30 to all skills and having a huge range on that. Now this is going to be a pain, because... Static Field would normally be able to bring this guy down to, you know, 1%, and then you'd use one attack to kill him. Oh yeah, I forgot he duplicates. I'm going to go get some potions, because I'm about to die. Salutations. I'm gonna need more health potion. I'm mean, mana potions. Making all that money. Money, money, money. And my dude is still alive. Is there anything with lifesteal? The ancients have all evening. I always do this when I know like I could die. It's like you just right click. I should probably bind that actually. I gotta get my Merc up to, uh, what is it, 22 for, what level is he? 19, yeah. Stop hitting me. I need mana. 
I wish there was a button or like a toggle where you could still like keep refilling my belt. Attacking me. Attack my Merc. I got this. I need mana. Teleporting on him makes your Merc start attacking him. You don't have to run up to you and keep getting pushed back. I think this is the right one. Because the clone takes more damn it. Take more damage. Alright, one death in Act 5, I'll take that. Evening. Evening. You ever have that bug where like you die, but then your inventory's full and then you die again and you'd lose everything? Remember that happened once on Battle.net and I, some douche nozzle stole my Barbarian's Executioner Sword or whatever I was using, I can't remember. Not cool, dude. Not cool at all. that his thing does not do as much damage as Diablo's. Not, not Lazook or whatever your name is. We've been together. We crossed deserts, swamps, tundras. do it six more times. The last of the three I didn't get any fallen. uniques. That sucks. Battle stuff, though, maybe that'd be good. I want to carry all this stuff. Alright. Why didn't you come help, dear? I am impressed, Morgan. You have overcome the great... I don't know if I like how they um, changed Tyrell in Diablo 3, made him into like a human and all that. It's kind of, eh. Yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, done with my normal run. I think uh, Act 4 was maybe 40 minutes or so. I'll have to check the timer on that. Pretty, pretty fun. Uh, this is, I think, my favorite game of all time. It's, hard, it's a toss up between this and like two others. Uh, I will probably continue this and maybe get to hell unless I get burned out on it. Overall, Diablo 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, and when the remake comes out, I will definitely be doing a focus on my channel on that for a little while, um, if this is your thing. Uh, keep an eye out for that. I'm hoping to get into alphas or betas later this year. Um, Project Diablo is pretty awesome. You can run this in ultra wide 3440 by 1440, and it runs pretty, pretty well. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to get together, I am playing this online, hit me up with a comment or an email, and thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good night.